technology I'm using is a machine learning technology called Sensory Percussion. It's made by a company called Sunhouse. It is completely non-acoustic. The heads are made of mesh, and they're originally designed to practice at drums at home quietly and not disturb the neighbors, but since has um, become useful for many other things. It's a software that can understand different timbres from drums because as any drummer will know, every drum has so many different sounds that you can get out of it. And there's like a real power to that when you can teach a software to understand those timbral differences. So the first EP that I came out with is actually pretty much just straight live takes on sensory percussion. Some of them are ambient, some of them are like highly rhythmic. I think there's one song on there where I'm basically just playing organ sounds. It was just like really fun to imagine like how can the physicality of drumming translate to any sound that I can think of since it's all sample based. It was a really big turning point for me as a drummer because I think I was always interested in production, but I never really like could find my way into it. This technology kind of opened that window for me and uh, very naturally I started making stuff. just to walk you through the software a little bit. First thing you'll see is that there's four drums down here. And that corresponds to the four drums here. Right now I have drum one set as the rack tom. Drum two is the snare drum. Drum three is the floor tom and drum four is the kick. And you'll see that each drum kind of has these, uh, what, what we call zones, you know. Um, so let's look at the rack tom. And I'm just gonna unlearn all these zones so I can walk you through the training process. And you can see there's a lot, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which means that for the rack tom, there's ten different trainable zones, which basically means you can teach the software to recognize the difference between hitting the center of the drum versus the edge of the head of the drum versus a rim shot to the center, rim shot to the edge. There's all these different possibilities. And once you train it all, it'll recognize those hits as different things, which means that you can um, program different sounds for each of these zones. So it basically turns every drum into like a 10 zone sampler, which is pretty amazing. And training is super simple. You just hit the, the zone that you want to train, and then you hit it on the drum. So this is center of head. I'm going to do that. You'll see the number right here go up as I train it. For Usually somewhere around 60 is good. The edge of the head, I'm gonna hit the edge of the drum head. I'll train a couple more. Here's the rim shoulder. So using the shoulder of the stick on the rim. And then rim tip. You can already hear the timbral difference between those two very, very clearly, between the rim tip and the rim shoulder. So now that I've trained it, you'll see the different zones light up when I hit different... So if I'm hitting the center of the drum, you see the center flash. When I hit the edge, you see the edge flash. Rim tip, rim shoulder. So that's the very basic rundown of how sensory percussion works. And one thing I just wanted to add is that, in my opinion, the most powerful thing about this software is not even the fact that you can turn every drum into a 10 zone sampler. Um, it's more so the fact you can map different parameters to CC knobs. So over here in the left area, there's different kinds of controllers that you can create. A timbre controller will track the movement from one zone to another. So not only will it recognize like what the center of the drum and the edge of the drum is like 
as you move from the center to the edge, it'll understand that movement and you can map that to a controller. So I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. I'm going to add, oh no, this is simpler. So if you watch this CC knob that I just mapped this timbre controller to, when I move from the center of the drum to the edge, you can see it move from one, to the, one, to, one side to the other. And the really powerful thing about this is that you can map that to any, um, basically any knob in any DAW. And also the sensory percussion has a really powerful sampler built into it as well. Um, and you can map that to any, you know, effect or, for example, if you wanted to change the pitch of a sample depending on where you hit it on the drum, I can do a real quick example of that. So on the snare drum, I have a, a snare sample. And as I move around the head, you'll hear the pitch change. So that's just like a level of expression that was super interesting to me when I was beta testing this technology. So on the improvisation that I did, one thing that I just wanted to point out is that on the rack time, I have a velocity controller, um, which you can see here. And that is mapped to a send, this is a send two. Yep. It's mapped to the send that has a massive reverb on it that's compressed. So basically all that means is that if I hit this drum really hard, even just once, then the entire kit is going to like a massive reverb. So I'll just demonstrate that real quick. And then I hit it quietly, and it dries up. Yep. In this case, I'm using the onboard sampler from Sensory Percussion. They have, within their sampler, a feature of randomization, so you can kind of create an element of chance which is fun for me to play, especially when I'm playing solo. Um, sometimes it can get a little lonely when you're playing alone and when you kind of introduce that element of chance. Even if the computer is, you know, doing it at random, it still feeds me in a way with something to bounce off of, and that's, that, that can be a really fun thing. It's this random button right here. You can get, you can load samples into Cycle, which is really useful if you're trying to, like, have a drum do a chord progression so that like every six hits or whatever it's like six different chords in a cycle um, but in this case I'm using uh, random to give myself a little reminder that I'm not totally in control. <laughs>